Thank you, Shillong, for your love and support for the past 15 years of our services. We are now upgraded to Blue Square Showroom. Come join the Blue Brotherhood. Baga jala konrat ke sangma menda kesingi kat South Trek jeli wala pelat jaga ambulance bala ay lembah ke CMDSF syakasnong dum dum. Ya kene ke ambulance la pelat haga jalang ke belong hapo St. John's Whitehall dum dum nong temai. Haga balai don langru ke MLE jaga East Shillong ke kong amperin lingdo. MDC ke nong temai uba lati plang kar kongor. MDC ke laim kera amalki uba Fantin Joseph Lakadong bat u MLE berim ke nong temai uba jaminu mau to. Haba keren haka ni kajian lang, um menteri rang ba, ulo ong ba, kajian rap, daki ambulans, syaki babuan kisnong, kalak bandai kakam ke berit, baka suarkar kale, hendrai ke ban ai jing mentoi pat, haka baydai berkakoi kakia. Ulo ong ba, kajian wan jaka klam, kalawan rak sibuan ki jing e, haki as nem balalit yaka suarkar, bat kum juru yaka im lang kasak lang. Hendrai, kalak bat ban job, yaka ni kajian e, da kajian teri lang jang barok ki kenhon. To thank the locality and the entire Dorbar and the people of not just Dungdum locality but the entire Shillong city who have uh, contributed and uh, worked during the COVID time to really face the pandemic and without the help of the community we would not have been able to take care of things the way we did. So I would like to put it on record once again the work of the community leaders and once again thank all the locality leaders for their uh, support and the efforts that they made during the pandemic. And uh, once again, would like to uh, dedicate this uh, a very small but a very meaningful uh, small uh, uh, ambulance uh, to the people of Dumdum and the entire area as a whole. And I wish uh, the managing committee who will be managing it the very best. And once again, would like to request that uh, let us use this uh, in the best possible way to give the best service to the people of the locality. At the correct time, in short notice, has become very vital for the saving of lives in our communities. The pandemic has taught us that the government of Meghalaya on its own will never be able to reach out to the needs and the demands of the community in times when sickness, illness strikes. I would like to relate to the time when I was the MLA of this constituency. We had tried our level best to ensure that the people of this area are served adequately with all the essential amenities and it was indeed a great pleasure for me to also lend a helping hand in ensuring that the attention flagged by the community of Dum Dum for the urgent requirement of an ambulance was brought to the immediate attention of our Honorable Chief Minister. Sir, thank you so much for your humbleness. We were uh, supposed to have this program quite some time back. So I first of all would like to apologize that uh, we were not able to materialize this particular program because of so many uh, engagements and other programs that were there. But I had uh, informed the local committee that uh, I would want to be there. I would want to be part of this program. And as I would mentioned uh, in my opening remarks, that uh, it's not about uh, the size of the project that we're doing, but it is the message that we are sending 
as a community, as leaders, and as a society towards uh, the purpose and the meaning of uh, really taking this one step forward uh, in ensuring that we're able to make a small but a significant difference in uh, the health services that are being provided in and around the Dundum area and Shillong City as a whole. What was mentioned earlier by Kong Amprin and the others, that we had a huge challenge. Nobody in the world ever expected the COVID to, you know, the, uh, the pandemic to happen. The kind of difficulties we faced as a government and more importantly as a society, uh, it really taught us a lot of things. And I think the biggest message and the learnings that uh, the experiences that I could take from these last two years of uh, managing, handling and fighting the pandemic is that one person or one organization or the government alone cannot do it. Until and unless we come together as a society, until and unless every single member of the community participates and works together, we will not be able to overcome challenges like these, even in the future. And in the last two years during pandemic, I take this opportunity and I would want to make it, uh, you know, put it on record. I've said it many times, but I want to say it again, that the cooperation that we got and the support, the work, <coughs> The dedication that was there from the community in the last two years during the fight against the pandemic was unprecedented. I don't know how many of you know this, but there is a case study in big institutes like Oxford and Harvard on what we have been doing here as a community and how the community participation in Meghalaya had gone in such a you know, great way and a wonderful and long way in actually being able to manage the COVID situation uh, the way we could. I'm not saying it was perfect, but uh, the model that we had shown and showcased to the world was something that uh, most communities, most states and countries had not seen. And uh, of course, we all know that this is not just because of COVID, it comes from our tradition. It comes from our culture. It comes from what we are and how we are as a community and as a society. And that is really the strength of our state and of our society. And that is the biggest message that we need to carry forward as we move ahead. While we do this uh, small but important gesture, I would also like to just share with you that as a government, we realize and we've been really focusing on ensuring that the social sectors are very crucial to our state. Now, I have been a very, very strong advocate of ensuring that when we talk of governance, there are two, three things we should keep in mind. Number one, when you talk of governance, though there are different departments, we must realize that there are different verticals. And each vertical then connects to the different departments that are there. Now, when I say vertical, I mean an infrastructure vertical. So we have PHE, we have road, we have power, we have IT connected to the infrastructure vertical. We have the social sector vertical, which includes uh, CNRD, which includes social welfare, which includes health and other and education and other such related activities. We have socio-economic verticals where we have agriculture, we have uh, you know farming, food processing, tourism. So it is important for the government to ensure that these verticals, when they are working, there's a coordination between what we do. So that's very important when we talk of governance. Number two, when we talk of governance, what is very important is that we need to ensure that the scheme-based approach is changed into a mission-based approach. Because what happens a lot of times is, you know, we end up focusing on how many ambulances we gave or we start focusing on uh, you know, how many canals of uh, kilometers of canals we have made for irrigation. Not realizing that uh, what is important is how many lives we have saved because of this ambulance. What is important to remember is that how much agriculture production went up because of the canals that were made. 
So you have to realize that in governance, it is not the scheme-based approach and we cannot assess ourselves with schemes, but we need to assess with the output and the, you know, and the results that we get from the purpose that we're supposed to achieve. So therefore, how many lives we were able to save because of this ambulance? That is the purpose of uh, what we are doing today here.